Hello my Saga Universe, it did sneak up on me that Liga Portugal is also getting started on this weekend, so in order to celebrate the start of the new season, I decided to for the first time ever make a collection video with all my Portuguese shirts. Only four teams, therefore I've decided I'll show you all my Portuguese shirts. Meanwhile, of the four teams, I for three I have two jerseys. That's actually not that bad, maybe... I will eventually get a few more, so this will not be the longest video. You can also see I made my new Portuguese background. We have a Portugal scarf here, just bought ahead of the Euros, and this sporting scarf that came with a sporting jersey that I'm gonna show you. And the first jersey in here is the one that I'm wearing. It's a 1920 sporting away jersey that I decided to wear in order to honor the reigning champion Sporting. And over the years, I have to say, Sporting is probably the one team that I like in Portugal the most, although it's margins. I don't have any strong feelings towards either one of these, but I have a strong feeling towards this jersey. Another one that felt a little bit weird the first time I saw it. And then last beat Sporting at home, 3-0. Therefore, there you go. Needed to have it in my collection. I'm gonna go like for the Austria video and for the Dutch video. I'm gonna go in the reverse order of how the teams finished in that league. I'll show you the jersey and yes, there are for two teams. I will show you two jerseys, one after the other and tell you a little bit about that. And let's get started with the weirdest and the one that I never thought I will have in my collection. I'm talking, of course, about this Roman jersey by Braga. It's the 1920 away jersey. What a crazy shirt. What an absolutely crazy shirt. It's a great jersey. I don't like great jerseys, but this one, I remember when I was reviewing it, I was not sure where should I go with this one? Is it great? Is it awful? I'm falling a little bit on the great part, but why? What a weird jersey that is. And if you wear it, I mean, you immediately look a whole lot more athletic. <laughs> Uh, but I do like that they kind of took the inspiration from Roman armor and yes, maybe you could have gotten away with the six pick because if you look at the patterning on there, it's actually quite cool. I like how they, the Braga crest is just, you know, a rubberized crest. This is the Hummel logo. On the back, I think it has quite some interesting effects, but it's all printed on. There's not much more to it. And then, of course, Guerreros, the V, of course, is a Roman U because the Romans didn't have a U, so therefore you have Guerreros written this way. It is one of those that, you know, I just had to get when I had the chance. I literally have to say it this way. And of course, Braga finished third that season that they were wearing this jersey. However, I also do have a really pretty Braga jersey, which is this one, the home jersey from the 2021 season, the centenary season. They finished fourth that season. And I got these two jerseys at the same time from classic football shirts, I think two years ago. Again, this seems like a rubberized dress, but it's much, much thicker, but it's still very ru rubberized. But I absolutely love this. You know, it's the Arsenal look that is also famous for Braga, but in a raglan sleeve, you have the golden details for the centenary. Uh, I especially like the golden detail here. And then you see already the, uh, the pattern, centenario, centenario, centenario really well done centenary jersey an absolute beauty i have to say on the back it is blank but it also says centenario and this one is not too dissimilar to a jersey that you will see relatively soon for porto i still have my 12 13 home jersey and i really don't know why i don't have another porto jersey yeah it is really hard to find them and if i find them they're relatively expensive or maybe some other teams are higher priority this one I got from Wilhelm. It was not too expensive and I'm still not sold on it. To me, this is not a classic Porto jersey. I mean, the striping is completely weird. Although it's kind of interesting. I mean, I love the huge Porto crest. I love the detailing that is in there. I love even the material. I even think that the patches here are rather cool and every, everything. It's just the patterning is weird. And this is a jersey that they won the championship in. So yeah, on the back, all blue a little bit blue and white as well so you know it is a nice Porto jersey and probably a historic one at that however I really wish I would have another one and I definitely need a Porto away jersey I just don't know which color should I go for should it be a blue one should it be a yellow one well let me know in the comments what you think I should choose next up is potentially potentially 
the oldest jersey in my collection. Not the one that I have for the longest, but it's potentially my oldest jersey. I got this one off Wilhaben for 20 euros. It's a 1990-91 Benfica home jersey. They also wore this without the sponsor in the European Cup final in Vienna where they lost to Milan. So it holds some special significance to it. It's a classic Hummel jersey and look at the colors, how similar they are. For the Braga jersey that is almost uh, more than 30 years older than this one. Absolutely brilliant jersey. It has also the crest here, which just has kind of this bubbly feel to it. Uh, it has the Fnac sponsor, which I think is really nice. And then there's a shadow pattern in that it says Hummel, Hummel, Hummel all over, which is also a really, really nice feature. But look at this floppy color. Yes, it shows its age. Uh, the chevrons here are kind of worn already. There's also under one of the uh, here is a little hole that probably needs to be fixed up. And yes, it also is not so pretty on the back. I really would like to know the backstory. I did not get one. It has a number seven, which is probably not even accurate, but there's also something really weird going on. There was some other print on there in some Cyrillic font. That sounds weird. That sounds weird and it makes it weird. In any case, yes, I was happy to get it for relatively cheap. This is an old jersey. It's a brilliant jersey, I gotta say. Absolutely love that one. And since I've been using this old Benfica jersey for quite a while already, I always said I need a different one as well. And yeah, here you go. I found one on Wilhaben. Was it 20? Was it 30? It's the past season one. It's a brilliant jersey. Unlike the other one where they won the championship is here they only finished second but I have the Portuguese Scudetto as I like to call it we have an updated Benfica crest very nicely rubberized with the three stars I love that design I mean it's basically the Spain home jersey but it looks so cool for Benfica yes I probably like Benfica better with a floppy collar but this one is probably a close second it absolutely looks amazing it's an amazing shirt also has the golden detailing here on the side because it is 120 year anniversary jersey which also makes a whole lot of sense to have it this way the season might not have been to benfica's liking only second place when you want to celebrate a little bit more you were pipped by your city rival to the title however you wore a darn brilliant shirt jersey one that is way better than the one that they're currently wearing i am absolutely pleased to have this one cannot tell you how over the moon it was i think i paid less than 20 for this one or around 20. Not 100%, but you know, there's an unpacking video that you can watch. And on to the champions, to this brilliant 0809 home jersey. And if you're wondering why I was wearing a sporting away jersey, this is long sleeves, it's somewhere. It's not gonna be convenient for that one. I actually don't wanna wear this jersey all that much anymore, especially when it's sweaty outside. Yes, I need a short sleeve sporting home jersey. I would love to have one where they won the championship with especially the previous one from Macron that that would have been a nice one but I love this jersey look at how the sleeves look like look how well this is done I also love the dual layer nature of this jersey uh, this is what Puma did I can put my hand in it it is so cool it's so nicely ventilated everything it's absolutely awesome gorgeous jersey I gotta say you have the Puma cats here they are also plastic this is a stitched sporting logo slightly different to the one that they have now with the scp up to up front but really love that one you can see a little bit wear and tear on the back if you look at the bs sponsor there is some wrinkling on there so yeah that's why i want to be a little bit more careful with this jersey but it's an absolutely brilliant one i found it on Wilhaben, got it together with the scarf that is now hidden by the porto jersey and I was so pleased to getting this one. What an awesome jersey. And yes, I probably should get a home jersey that is short sleeve as well. But although I have this Benfica jersey, the old one, and although I have this brilliant, awful Braga jersey, and even this one, the centenary one, I have to say this is probably my favorite jersey from that. There's something about this uh, horizontal striping with the green, white and the way that goes on the sleeves just looks awesome. It's a brilliant shirt. Absolutely love it. By the way, in the 08 09 season where this sporting jersey was won, sporting finished second. And there you have it. These are all my Portuguese jerseys. 
I would say it's kind of a nice collection and I think the only thing that's really missing is a Mafika away jersey and I never know which color I should choose, white or black, now they go again with black. Let's see, and the Porto away jersey and probably a nicer home jersey. But other than that, I'm quite pleased. Yes, um, sporting, I just said, I won't have a short sleeve, but you know, it's maybe not as high priority. It's not big. Now, what are other Portuguese teams that I would like to have? I mean, an obvious one is an obvious two. Vitória de Guimarães, absolutely love their jerseys very often and would really add to the collection very nicely. I also think Boa Vista with the black and white checkerboard is an absolute must for me. Other than that, you know, there's always a team that can can go up there but I think those five teams cover it most of the time because those are the ones that make it into Europe. On the other side there's some really nice ones out there. Every season there's some great Portuguese jerseys. It's just really really hard to get them around here. So that's the reason why there isn't more but you know in reality it's all about the big three slash four with Braga and maybe let's add Vitória de Guimarães. Those are the big five and I would add Boa Vista. Those are for me the biggest Portuguese teams and those are the ones that I would like to have at a bare minimum in my collection. So I'm not done yet and maybe next year you will get a slightly bigger video, although I'm not quite sure about that. Any case, please let me know what you think about this collection, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!